Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about the end of the Library Creator Rewards program. It was bound to happen, but I'll explain to you why it's a good thing, so stay tuned. Make sure to press the bell icon to never miss another update. So if you aren't registered yet on Odyssey, you can use my link in the video description so you can get at least some free library credits for registering. So there has been an update Creator Rewards 2.0 from the main library channel, Odyssey channel. So library will be increasing per view rewards and ending fixed monthly rewards for creators as part of a transi transition to a less arbitrary reward system that focuses on those engaging with library. So they had to change it because the current system is unsustainable, arbitrary and creates poor incentives. Library spent almost, listen to this, 5 million library credits rewarding content creators in May. Five million guys five million library credits is at six dollar cents six dollar cents guys so five million lbc i'll show you how much how much money that is point let me just take or zero six point zero six zero two nine three <laughs> That's three hundred and one thousand dollars that they just gave away in May of 2020. So this, of course, this is not sustainable. So this was brought down via adjustments and increased standards to under two million in July. But this highlights the next problem. The current system requires library Inc. to actively tune the knobs in a way that is opaque and subjective. Library's goals is always transparency and fairness, which is a great thing. So the current system reward, rewards creators too much for having a large sub count on YouTube and not enough for creating compelling content that is of interest to library viewers and promoting the library channel. This is absolutely true. Absolutely. So. What will the next system be? Well, a new set of rules focused on being fair and sustainable than on being simple. It involves math. So there will be a base view reward rate viewable in your app at all times. You earn this amount for each view of video and text content from users with validated library accounts. Non-video and non-text content earn a fraction of the base rate. I believe that's fair because I think in a video you have to put a lot more time. So I think that's cool. So if you're a library first or exclusive creator, you can earn a multiple of this amount. Content that results in longer views will earn more. This is very interesting. Very interesting. So, because YouTube, for example, on YouTube, there, there's like, if you make a video of a few minutes, it will be watched more than a, than a longer video of 20 minutes. So, but you don't really get rewarded for it. So here with library, if you have like one hour of videos or 30 minute videos, uh, if the longer people watch, the more you will earn. So. I like that. I like that. The rewards adjusts upwards and downwards based on an algorithm that factors in things like the growth of the network and the price of the token. Yeah. The algorithm ensure, ensures that the company itself will never go above 500,000 LBC per week in view rewards, guaranteeing several years of sustainability while we build our advertising and direct monetization. So this is really important because 
I'm on library, we're all on library for the long term. In crypto, a long term vision is important. But for me, this means that uh, the company is here to stay and will not go anywhere. The algorithm will begin pegged at 250,000 LBC per week above what we are giving out currently per week. So that's good. I'm not gonna uh, show you the, the next system in math and formulas. So what happens to monthly rewards? The monthly rewards will be deactivated after your current enrollment period ends. So I've been on uh, Odyssey library uh, in the beginning of 2020, so in January, so in January 2021, my enrollment period ends. So that means if you joined in the last year, you will continue to receive monthly rewards for one full year. It's funny because as seen in the text here, the more subscribers, the more followers you had, the more rewards you got. So I'm almost, I'm almost at 10,000 YouTube uh, subscribers. So that would mean I would get higher rewards. But the moment I will reach 10,000, uh, it will stop. So unfortunately, but it's logical uh, for the longevity of Odyssey itself. So. The change will happen sometime in September, no later than October 1st. Uh, so the new channels that join won't be eligible anymore for monthly rewards, but you can still link your YouTube channel. So when you upload on YouTube that it will automatically upload on Odyssey as well. So you can get a bonus. If you love library and have over 10,000 subs on YouTube with an average of 3,000 views per video, if you would like to help to promote library to the rest of your audience, you should email creators at library.com. Is this program design permanent? They reserve the right to alter this system, of course, which is normal. Tell us what you think. What do you think about that they stop the creator rewards. What do you think about it? I think it's very important that they stop it. Of course, I would like to receive monthly rewards. The rewards, yeah, minor only. They went down. They went down in the in the um, in this year. They went down a few times. So currently, I was at I think sixty LBC per month, which is which is nice, which is okay. It's just free library credits that goes away now. But I mean, you have to ask yourself the question, what do you want? Fast cash and then nothing or think about the long term and still enjoy what you've built on Odyssey, on library after 10 years. I'm, I'm the passive income guy. I'm the long-term guy. So it's very important to have a sustainable long-term income streams. So for me, Odyssey is an income stream. See? See here, the channel was verified when you have... nine. I have 9,700, but because they stopped the YouTube Partner Program, they don't update the stats anymore. So you can claim it again in, in uh, eight days. 60, 60 free library credits. So all in all, I think it's a positive evolution, especially if you look at the way library is booming. It's truly booming. For example, when we go to Librarynomics, look at the number of channels, guys. 526,000. <laughs> Look, it was the 1st of January right here at less, maybe six, maybe 60,000, 60,000, 50,000 channels. And now almost at the end of the year, we have more than half a million channels. So Odyssey is booming. Why aren't you on Odyssey yet? What do you have to lose, guys? What do you have to lose? You can watch content and get paid for it. You can watch my content 
and get free library credits. As I explained in previous videos. If you want more info on Odyssey or watch my tutorials on Odyssey or e even my tips and hacks, I suggest you subscribe to my channels, to my YouTube channel, to my Odyssey channel. All the links are in the video description. I have other um, channels as well. So it's very, so if it's interesting for you, uh, to get the latest tips on Odyssey, how you can get subscribers, how you can get more views, how you can get uh, more library credits, well then, make sure to subscribe to my channel, uh, especially for more money-making tips. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to read the video description. There are many interesting links and information right there. So I hope to welcome you all soon on the Crypto Mining Channel. I wish you all a great day and talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Press the bell icon to never miss another update. Join the Bitcoin revolution.